at the time, the board at the Wing Luke had stated that they needed an identity for the um, museum. And at that time, the museum was just this little hole in the wall, and there was a black wall on the outside that was long and skinny. I was exploring the idea of using um, porcelain enamels with an airbrush, and everybody said, can't be done. And so I thought, well, what's the big deal? And the people in the factories, um, because porcelain enamel was used um, to spray onto your appliance parts and bathtubs. And so they said, well, you'll destroy the airbrush. And I thought, you know, too bad for the airbrush, I'll buy another one. So then came the very long, tall, skinny dragon that fit into the space. And then I put a call out um, to say, I would really like photographs of the immigrants, the early immigrants that came to the Seattle area. And so those became the shadows on the belly of the dragon. And then of course poppies. Those are, you know, the oriental poppy. This figure here is actually a Japanese warrior done in a Chinese style. And the Chinese warrior up there is actually done in a Japanese style. I wanted to use the portraits that are all like here and here and all the way up the top to kind of just kind of form the dragon, kind of like the way the community forms the ID. Um, so the idea of it being a garden because things grow, so the piece is entitled The Dragon's Garden. The monkey God, um, is a good luck symbol, and it's also one of the um, figures in the horoscope. And he's mischievous, but he's also good luck. And um, the monkey god is also um, my Chinese horoscope. Um, so that kind of pleases me. It's like kind of little, my own little secret, which is probably not a secret anymore. <laughs>